I'm Lon. And I'm TJ. And we're with Vertra. In this video, we're going to be talking about electronic control devices and using them within our simulators. Lon, uh, sitting here we have a couple of tasers. We've got the X26 and the X2 and um, Vertra's taser cartridges for these units for our um, simulators. Now, these look, well, first of all, these look like they're real taser handles and these look like they're real taser cartridges. Yeah, these are fully functional X2, X26, X26P technically, um, functional units. So an agency can literally use their own handle for training. Mm -hmm. And what we supply and what we bring to the game are the cartridges. The cartridges themselves uh, are very realistic, but they are very, very uh, technologically advanced. And so you can actually save yourself some money because you're using your existing handles. You don't have to buy a training handle or anything, which I know some of our competitors use. They use um, the training handles, which look just like the regular handles, function just like the regular handles, so why wouldn't you want to use these? They kind of function like the real handle, and what I mean by that is if, if I start engaging in behavior as a trainee or as an officer that's kind of sloppy, mm -hmm. with the training uh, handle, if I activate it, the current that's coming out of this is pretty minuscule. So if I grab my cartridge, I'm doing a reload drill, or I'm doing a deployment, and my hands are towards the front or where they shouldn't be, right. I'm never going to get any type of immediate feedback saying, hey, look, that's probably not a good idea. Okay. If with a live handle, at some point in time, I'm messing with the front end, I can't deploy out here and not know about it or a cartridge towards the front. And, and seeing people under stress, they get sloppy with their behavior. Right. This never corrects that sloppy behavior. This is immediate feedback that helps to, to correct that sloppy behavior. Yeah, you get an officer in the simulator that gets snake bit, what they call it, you know, while taking a cartridge off or putting one on. That's a self-correcting feature. Or even deploying. You'll yeah. see their hand position isn't where it should be. And if I, if I allow that or, or, you know, instructor doesn't pick up on it, that becomes problematic. Yeah, no, that's a great, great uh, reason to use your live handles versus a training handle. Um, now, these all function just like the real thing out in the field. Uh, again, you'll notice these are uh, colored a little differently so that officers know they're not live cartridges. Um, and um, because they're electronic, again, like all of our other electronic products, so you can see here on, on these two and on this one, uh, they all have charging ports. So once again, no batteries to replace. You have uh, the ability to just quickly recharge these. They have an auto on off feature. Um, so, you know, once they're not being used, they turn themselves off and uh, you don't have to worry about the batteries draining um, themselves. Uh, one of the other features that uh, maybe you can speak to is you'll notice on both styles, the 26 and the X2, they each have two lasers versus one laser. How does that benefit training? So each of the lasers actually mirror the trajectory um, uh, as far as what comes out of the t a real a real cartridge. Mm -hmm. So the top probe and the bottom probe actually match that trajectory. Instead of a single probe that may be set in the middle and then they're going to kind of calculate or guess where the other two probes may be, this actually establishes two points on the screen, mm -hmm. which means it can I can deal with how far I am away, what my standoff distances would be, what my actual probe spread would be. Having those two lasers technologically, not easy to do, right. but it gives you a much more realistic perspective of where your actual tr probe trajectory would land. And it should be noted that the, the two lasers that are in these cartridges are actually at the same angle that yeah. they are inside a, a real taser cartridge with the, uh, um, with the probes. Correct. So they are going to function just like a, a, a real uh, taser cartridge. Um, now with the X2, uh, it does have a unique ability um, out there, which is uh, that they can re-arc. Um, are we able to do that within our simulator? Yeah, we can re-arc. So you can get a couple of deployments. The arc button on the side of the taser will function to reactivate stuff that's on, already been deployed out on the screen. Okay. Again, making sure that we can mimic real you know, training considerations to mimic real life considerations the best that we can. And uh, to go along with the re-arcing capabilities of the X2, we actually have scenarios where you can actually re-arc someone after you've already administered an ECD. 
Correct. And uh, we've actually designed entire taser uh, uh, training scenarios that are designed solely on, ta uh, on taser deployment. And it allows you to not only deal with positional differences, um, the size of people being different, but also the ability to re-arc. That's awesome. I mean, we have a complete training suite for the tasers and also um, almost all of our scenarios where you can use force, we have the ability to use electronic control devices in it. Right. Uh, that's great. And another way that Vertra is uh, leading the way in um, training for officers out there. Well, thanks again for joining us on our uh, taser video here today. I'm TJ. I'm Lon. Train hard. Stay safe out there, everyone.